Being a meteorologist and atmospheric scientist takes me to places where I get to see things and do things that most people would never even dream exist. And for me, there's nothing more powerful, nothing more awe-evoking and inspiring than watching a total solar eclipse as the moon blocks the sun. Back in 2019, I went down with my buddy Dan Satterfield to the Atacama Desert and areas just south of that in Chile, where I got to climb a mountain near Vicuña and wait for the moon's shadow to sweep in at close to 10,000 miles per hour. The sun was only 12 degrees over the mountains and we were waiting, the air was thin, it smelled like cactus, it was cool up there. It was winter in the southern hemisphere, but all of a sudden we, we got this foreboding sense that something big was coming, and indeed it was. The shadows became the shape of sickles as the moon slowly occluded in front of the sun, the sun getting smaller and smaller, looking like a fingernail, and ultimately we were only seconds away, and then the landscape transformed. A shadow swept in, like we said, 10,000 miles per hour, the sky suddenly went into this deep azure. There was no 360 sunrise. The shadow was bigger than in 2017, meaning it blocked much more down the horizon. And the temperature dropped probably 9, 10 degrees in a matter of minutes. The air was thin, it was dry. There was nothing to really trap that heat. And so as soon as nighttime fell, even though it was in the middle of the daytime, as soon as night fell, you, you felt it. The, the birds silenced, the crickets started chirping. It was a, a, an otherworldly experience. It was almost like a, a physical experience. You see those last glimmers of sunlight, Bailey's beads, as that sun shines through the valleys of the moon. Those last glimmers, of, the last beads of light. You get what's called shadow banding, where collinated light, all the light heading the same direction, starts to have this weird interference pattern on the ground. And then the corona, the sun's brilliant atmosphere spreading millions of miles into space, tracing loops of magnetism as it radiates outwards like the hairs of an angel. You see this pinhole black suspended over the mountains. It's moments like this where you convince yourself the universe is sentient and you're, you're staring at it in its eye. It lasts maybe two minutes and suddenly daylight returns, shivers run down your spine. You forget that this ever happened, but it's like this presence is with you for only two minutes. It's, it's something that I will never forget, and come April 8th, 2024, when one hits the United States, I'll be there. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.